Hello guys, welcome to our today's class. Today we are talking about determinants of a two by two matrix. And uh, if you are given a matrix A, which contains the following elements, we have A, we have B, we have C, and we have D. And you are told, find the determinant. You are told to find the determinant. You are told to find the determinant. This is what you do to find a determinant of a two by two matrix. Uh, if uh, these are our matrix A, we have B, we have C, uh, and we have uh, D. To find the determinant, which I can denote as determinant, it is given by you multiply these elements of the leading diagonal which is you, you take A, multiply by D, A multiply by D, then you minus B, now you multiply the element of the lagging diagonal, which is B, uh, you multiply with C. You minus uh, the multiplication of the element of the lagging diagonal. So this simply means this will give you your determinant. Uh, you can be given, for instance, you can have an example. You can have an example. Uh, you can be given, you can be given two, five, maybe four, and then you are given three. You are told, find the determinant. You are told to find the determinant. To get the determinant, to get the determinant of this, uh, to get the determinant of this matrix, you take 2 multiplied by 3. 2 multiplied by 3, then you minus 5 multiplied by 4. You minus 5 multiplied by 4. This simply means this gives you 6 minus this gives you 20, and our determinant is negative 14. Our determinant is negative. 14. This is our example one. So we can also have another example two. Example two. Example two. If you are given, if you are given, for instance, uh, this time we have uh, maybe you are given four, uh, you are given two, you are given one, you are given seven, you are told find the determinant. Find the determinant. If you are taught to find the determinant, to find the determinant, this is uh, how you still find the same determinant the same way. You take the elements of the leading diagonal, which is 4. So our determinant <coughs> is given by 4 multiplied by 7 minus the multiplication of the elements of the lagging diagonal, which is 2 multiplied by 1. This means we have 28 minus 2 the determinant is 26. We can have one more example. And maybe our example three. You can be given, you can be given, given, uh, given the following, maybe we have six, we have five, we have two, and we have uh, one. Maybe this time, we want to make this a negative. We want to make this a negative. So that we can see the impact of a negative in this, uh, in this matrix. So you're also told to find the determinant. If you are to find the determinant, uh, this is how you find the determinant. This is how you find the determinant. You multiply this element of the leading diagonal. Uh, so our determinant is given by six multiplied by one then you minus negative 5 multiplied by 2. This means here we have 6 minus, here we have minus 10. This minus and minus turn to become a positive. Because when you take minus multiply by uh, a minus, a minus multiply by minus, this becomes a positive. A minus, minus, a minus, this becomes a Positive. So this minus and this minus becomes a positive, and our determinant is 16. 